Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. And in this episode we'll be learning to move cut and finding a Pokemon to you. Since I don't want to teach it to any of my Pokemon. And, uh, okay, if I remember correctly it was in this building and this guy. The demanded expression that limited the way you move and your all trained Pokemon. Oh obviously a skill trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you will be capable of putting this feature into good use. No need to be modest or shy, go on, take it. Yes, I got the move cut. Now I've got what I want. Time to get Pokemon to teach it to. And obviously it's just a really stupid badge and stuff. So I will go in here. Well, I thought you didn't really want to see that, but basically I just put my magic cup into the bee, into the box, so that I could uh, catch another Pokemon to use the move cut. I know I said I was going to stick to my list, but I want a Pokemon that can use cut. Anyways, let's see if I can actually find it first time. That'd be nice. Nope. Well, this may take a while, so... Well, finally... So let's see if I can actually catch it. So I've got to be careful. Heck. Too powerful! No! Oh, no. Damn it. Now I've got to try again. Okay, here's another one. It took it long enough. Okay, let's use a lower level Pokemon. Why am I sending out arrow on it? Send out that mode. Whatever it was. Okay, let's try tackling first. Yes, this is a good catching. That should be weak enough for it to be caught in a Pokeball. And also, I will be using it to catch water type so that I can get a Pokemon to surf. And I will also be catching the legendary Pokemon. Because, well, they're legendary, aren't they? So, I have a nickname him or her. Cut. Because that's all he's gonna be, he or she is gonna be used for. Which is nice, isn't it? I have charity. And what I'm doing. Okay, now let's get into these Pokemon battles. So I get into another wild bunch. So I hate wild bunch. Especially when you're not trying to catch Pokemon. Only even if you would like training. Unless you're training or something like that. So it's basically what you've got to turn down, yes. Obviously I'm training up a towel, so I decided to value prepared trainers because I could cover We learn all sorts of things at the Pokemon Trainer School. 
uh, tests now for real. And obviously we haven't gone to gym yet, so we're going to have to do that as well. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it this episode, but we'll see. So let's actually get into the battle. So I'm going to use every attack because wing attacks are awesome. That's the only reason I'm using that move. This is cool. Rod has leveled up. One level, which is useful. I'm not going to bother cutting all those down. That's not yet home too. And obviously I might try and collect that item as well. And I might as well. It's there. I should have used uh we're gonna take on them and be killed in one hit. But oh well. Hello strong enough. There you go. Ah, didn't matter what. Oh well, now I go up after this. Oh and small. Now build for himself. <laughs> I also have a choice now. I might start training up my rocks because he's learned confuse. And confuse can be quite a strong move if it's on the right Pokemon. But since I've done all this training, I might go up to the second gym. And then I might uh, start training my others up. And luckily on the second island there is no cut, so I can train my magic harp up as well. Which I need to level up because he's a bit, well, you know, doesn't know any moves. So let's just try and teach him some moves. So I'm going to collect him from the Pokemon Center, and since you don't really want to see that, I'll stop the uh, credit here. And we're back. Okay, so... Um, I've, I'll tell you what I've done. Well, I've got my Magikarp out and put the fair share on him. And also, I've put... Oh, I should have done that way. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've also put a Quick Claw on my Talu because it makes it strike first. So let's go back to the island, because um, striking first can be quite useful sometimes. Aloha! Ahoy! Sorry. Now I know exactly what you want to say. Uh, you're to deliver a package to... Heart... Get to things. What you need... To do is no problem at all. I'm the man for the job. Yes. Here we come. Blah 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 blah. What's that? The thing is, I think he actually leaves the bird there. Either that, or the bird goes in the ship first and then stays in the ship. So we're back on the island. Uh, so again, 
now, we shall go into the gym. And as you can see, it's all dark, like that cave was. All you have to do is walk to here and says, don't you dare brush me off. Uh, it's not my fault if you cry. That's a bit over the top, don't you think? Anyways, it's just a um, bell girl, whatever. And I forgot to heal my Pokemon. Great. And also, damn, you used to tech to protect itself. It's fine, because I use it. Now I have to find any of those. And it's the perfect, so it kills it. That's why I got this such a strong move. And now I'm at the top of the level. Well, there we go. Well, I didn't realize I had a bit of damage, but I won't worry about it for now. Okay, so let's go over here and bow the sky. Didn't finish him off? Oh my god, I'm scared now. And you can see why. And now I just use Pratt to finish him off. There we go. Well, that was a good battle. But I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center quickly, and I'll, we will we'll turn here so it doesn't so it makes sense. And we're back. Okay, so obviously they returned to their spot there where they was before. So now we battle this girl, and obviously I have my Pokemon. There's no need to probably to get involved. I'll crush you. Oh yeah, he's the gym leader. That's the one to look out for. Okay, so it's the Meditite. A couple of levels down, oh no, I'll just use one attack. Because I want to kill them fast. Try and get levels up my tackle. And now my Meditite is level 7. And then don't change my Pokemon, which is. My tail is fully healed and no damage whatsoever has happened so far. And let's hope the risk I've taken was a good risk. Because <laughs> this is actually a quite dangerous move. Because I haven't really trained Tallu up enough for this. Should have done a little more training. Really. But I have so I am even screwed. But all you can do is try and just hope that the Pokemon don't die. Well, it's been long enough, but I'll come in front of the gym leader anyways. And here's the gym leader, and I've decided I will wait until the next episode for that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and goodbye!